Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Maria, how much do you love your little sister? I don't know. Is this a trick question? <laughs> no. I, I want to take the feather bed from the blue room with me. Oh, okay. Well, will it fit in your car? No, no, no. But it does fit in with our plans. Okay, this is a big ta-da moment, so pay attention. My gorgeous wife and I have a big announcement to make. All right, well, you've got a captive audience. <laughs> Throw it at us. Okay, well, Nita and I, we're going to be... Uh... What am I just in time for? Slater. Get a bagel, pull up a chair. Wouldn't be a party without you. Slater. What brings you by my house? This fine fall morning. Meeting with Bobby. Now, how many families use silver burn their own crash? How does Latin translate? What is left when honor is lost? That's worth pondering over hollandaise sauce, isn't it? I can't believe it. You purposely cut me off in the driveway. Oh, for heaven's sake, you drive with one foot in the brake, the other foot in the grave. Oh. Opal, granddad. Oh, you got it. You warned me that I'd have to sit at that table and watch this one gobble up her food. She is like a vulture and dry egg. Yeah, yeah, well, the sight of you with egg yolk dripping down your chin doesn't exactly toast my O's to the oh. okay? Oh, come on. We're all family. <laughs> well, practically. And you guys have to start getting along, or you're going to be banished to the kitty table. I know what you mean. Uh, you guys know Zach Slater? Hey. Oh, I remember you spoke at the Marina Center groundbreaker. Oh, but that was before I read about those casino shootings in the tabs with the sniper still at large. Can it, can it, really... Opal, can it? What is so all fired important that I had to give up my oysters Rockefeller with Lila Mainwater? Oh, well, I don't know what's more disgusting, oysters for breakfast or you eating those slimy slugs with Lila Man Eater. Oh, forget the slugs, Opal. Uh, Anita and I, we got a big surprise. Don't tell me! You're infanticipating! You're what? They're preggers, you old fool! Oh, Opal, we're not pregnant. Oh. Yet. But it is at the top of our to-do list. Well, I hope so. <laughs> Especially now. Uh, it's no secret that I've made some investments that went so far south that they're still circling Antarctica. <laughs> but uh, once Anita and I got back together, my luck changed. And I, uh, I got on the ground floor of a venture that is going to allow us to buy our first home. Oh, wonderful! It's our dream house. We just closed on it yesterday. Yeah, no, that's incredible. Yeah, it's got four bedrooms. Uh, one to be designated the nursery. And a two-acre fenced-in yard. Uh, large enough to play with, uh, with my son. Or daughter. Don't forget you married a former tomboy. Well, when do we get the tour? Anytime. Today. Mama's already come by and taken measurements for the curtains. <laughs> This, well, you got, well, go ahead and take that feather bed, then. You're going to need it. We'll have yeah. to come up with some other fabulous housewarming gift. Yeah, I don't know hope that somewhere down the line, nine months down the line, you might be a member to the family. Hey, <laughs> Anita, congratulations. Yes, yeah. indeed. You continue to surprise me, and, uh, well, I'm, I'm quite proud of you, my boy. Thanks, Granddad. That, that, that means a lot. Yeah. Have you called Nina and told her? Yes, her? yes. She's going to try to fly out, do the whole interior decorating thing. Oh, well, she'll she have to wrestle with my mom for the paint swatches. Uh, yeah. <laughs> God, I'm so excited for you. This is like your first real house. This is cool. <laughs> awesome. Yeah, I don't see any wheelchair access. Uh, that, that's going in tomorrow, and uh, we've already hired the contractor. No kidding. No kidding. One of the reasons we wanted to buy a house was to fill it with family and friends, and nothing is going to get in the way of that. <laughs> well, I think this uh, calls for a toast, right? Yes. Here is to Bobby and to Anita Long. May they live and very happily in their new home. Here, here. Here, here. Thanks. We need to talk. Uh, no, no, just now. <laughs> Maria, you have got to check out the kitchen. Oh, I'm going to see. Come here. It's got granite column tops. I'll cut right to the chase. I'm fired. No. The San Diego deal fell apart. Okay. Investments have their ups and downs. It isn't about stocks or bonds, Bobby. The deal fell through. It's done. There's nothing left. Zach, I have a home with a mortgage the size of an anaconda. I was counting on this deal coming through. They're going to foreclose on us before we even move in. Could play out that way. Well, I guess I'm just going to have to go in there and...
tell him before I uh, lose my nerve. Hey, folks. Disregard the previous message. I'm still a screw-up. Bobby. I'll cover you alone. Why would you do that for me? We'll work out the terms. Now I'll go in there and be the golden boy they need you to be. Jack, I, I don't... It's not personal. father that never called you son is entombed in here? It's the least we could do for old Hugo. You enshrine your dead no matter how unfit they were to live. What is left when honor is lost? An effigy and imported marble. I suppose to say Michael Cambius. Riding in a landfill. Interesting you should mention Michael. You can make it more interesting. Tell me who you were before you became Zack Slater. And save the story. The real Zack Slater was a good friend of Michael Cambius. Killed in a rock climbing accident. That's easy enough to explain. I faked my own death. Zach Slater, I'm sorry. I was always Zach. Never died. Excuse me. It's always a treat talking with you, Adam, but I have more pressing engagements. No, 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 don't, 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 don't run, run away. You'll miss my guest. I invited him here for you. Ah, Mr. Slater, welcome to my humble home. You, of course, know Dr. Hayward. Now... Let's get down to business. The missing recording of Hayward knocking me out and sealing me into a packing crate. What do we have to do to make that reappear? You know, when I handed those surveillance desks over to the police, I may have misplaced a couple of them. Ah, yes. Well, if you could possibly lay your hands on the, uh, disc covering the gazebo and the shed the night of the fundraiser, I would be prepared to reward you handsomely for your efforts. Yeah? Yeah. Well, I'll see what I can do. To make or break somebody's day. Excellent. Unless you care to enter a competitive bid, doctor. Why don't we discuss this in private? My office. No. Excellent. Wait a minute. No. No! Wait a minute! We haven't settled anything! Oh, control your emotions, Adam. Damn!